Hey, what's up, guys? This is Merck, and welcome to my second video. I'm playing Utah this week. Really looking forward to it. My top players, of course, are Williams, Hidari, and Walker. Their top players are Anderson, Orchard, and Rowe, and looks like they're starting receivers out for this game, so hopefully that is good for us. My running back is hurt. He's been hurt for the year. He ruptured his disc early in the season, and I have to play with the backups. So let's get right into it. Defense for me at first. Always pick defense first. That's what I do. And first play of the game is a screen for them. And, of course, I never cover screens very well. I have no idea why, but I just can't cover screens sometimes. Most of the times. And then after a couple sacks, I get them to third and long. So I figured, hey, you know what? It should be an easy stop. But, as you saw last game, I passed defense in very well. And, well, you know. What else can I say? And the same thing basically happens here. Receive corner gets beat off press and easy touchdown. I figured this game would be an easy win for me. At first, it was it's pretty. It was a pretty close game at first. On offense, I completed to my receiver. Tell fair. That's a trucks the corner gets a first down, 17 yards. My favorite play once again, halfback dive. Takes a big hit, but holds on. Drop back to pass. Easy touchdown. Like I said last time, I like to blitz my safeties, and usually it works, like right there. It usually rushes the quarterback and makes it easier to get better. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was... Sorry if I sound a little tired, guys. I just got home from a soccer game, so I decided to do it. I decided to do it. I should have done it yesterday, but for some reason, I decided to do it right after today's game, and I'm pretty tired. And this is uh, one of my favorite plays, like I said last week, halfback, not halfback, receiver screen. But if any time I ever see uh, no safeties up top, I would always audible to, uh, I say it's four verticals, I believe. And right here, I'm doing all my hot routes, all my audibles and stuff, and wide open. Look, you can see, just touchdown easy again. To my tight end, Randall Telfair. <coughs> Back on defense, blitzing my safeties like always. Look up close and see. Most of the time, it works. I, whenever I play users, I don't use that same strategy because they're smarter and they actually audible to. Uh, to streaks and stuff, so I, I usually just use it again the computer. I know it's a little bit cheating, but oh well. <coughs> Back on offense again, four verticals once again, and look who's wide open. Fastest player on my team. Last week I said Farmar for some reason. It's because I'm of a Clippers fan, and for some reason I had Jordan Farmar's name in my head, but it's actually Farmer. My friend told me and made fun of me. So for him, this is George Farmer. And I showed this play because it kind of pisses me off when quarterbacks just truck everybody on the team. They act like they're Cam Newton or something, just trucking everybody. But that's Heisman, so what can I do? Right here, I figured, oh, I'm going to get the sack easy. easy. Nope, that's all right. It's a complete pass anyways. I hold them. They punt. I go, I go. And once again, a good pressure. And the interception. So... After the beginning, it seemed it, was, it could be a close game because they were just they just drove on me and then interception and then I threw an interception. I don't know why I threw that. It was a stupid pass. I thought he was open and then all right. Should have picked it off. Should have picked it off, but it's all right. Fourth down. I should have just kick off. I almost scored on it. I mean, I, it's hard to score on kickoffs. And as you, if you guys play this game, you know it's not as easy. As it was before. Okay, same play again. Okay, then audible to streaks. It's audible hot routes. Beautiful. I don't. I have no idea what I did. There. I just kept pushing my button, and for some reason, I just like. I don't know. It was weird. It was funny, but weird. All right, a good play. Corner route, of course. Like I said, if you know how to run it good, it's, it's money. Especially in the end zone like that when they don't have safeties. Like on defense, and oh, they run the read, and of course he just like somehow gains an extra five yards. 
five receiver set. I kind of whiff on the coverage there for some reason, but hard hit by Josh Shaw. Hold them and then they get the punt. Let's see. I don't score. I show this one because I almost score. My brother got mad at me. He said I should have cut in r right here. No, a little more. But I saw there's someone right behind me. If I couldn't, he was going to tackle me anyways. But he thinks he knows everything. Alright. Should have picked that off again. But see, pressure, that's what pressure does. Usually, pressure is good for you to get pressure on the quarterback. I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm thinking about doing live commentary. I, I get kind of mad sometimes. Uh, if you guys watch the Italian's channel, he sometimes gets kind of mad. That's how I kind of get. I might be a little worse depending on how it is. So I, I might do live commentary next week. I'm not sure. I'm contemplating it. We'll see. Stupid comeback routes because corners can't cover for more than three seconds or they're already beat in this game. You can have the best corners and it never works. This one, I told him it was going to be in the middle, but somehow it was just a big ass hole. Ugh. Let's see. Stop route. Probably the easiest route to run in this game. If you ever see the corner off, just stop routes. That works beautifully in this game. Slants also work good. If you have fast receivers, it's even better, like George Farmer. Or farmer, Farmer. Say so I did it again. Farmer. Farmer. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see what I do. Okay, so throw the A right in the middle to Aguilar. Aguilar. I always thought it was Aguilar, but it's Aguilar. Call timeout. Do I score? Do I score? Do I score? Uh, slant. Yeah, I score. Slant route. Easy. Money. Just throw it. Touchdown. I almost scored again. I almost scored three times in this game, but freaking I got caught from behind every time. You see that finish block right there by my fullback? Poof. So I mean, it's it's a, it was a I thought it was gonna be a close game. I wanted it to be a kill too, but then DJ Morgan, who just got after this game, he got promoted to uh, to starting running back. Since so, you know my my starting running back would hurt, the for, he got hurt the second game. Then I went to my backup, who was doing okay, but he's not fast, so I he doesn't have the breakaway runs. So I, after this, you guys see later why, but after this game, I decided just to start uh, DJ Morgan. He's a senior, and he's, he's pretty quick. He's really quick. So he should do good for me. He should give me a more of a punch than uh, Madden did. Madden's more of a power back. I and mean, look at this hit. Boom, son. Get a little bit in. Five-yard gain. This this play this play was my favorite of the game right here. Watch this cut, Psst, cut beautiful. And then with that speed, it's gone. Money. Touchdown. See, Madden wouldn't have been able to do that. Do that. He was too. He's too slow compared to Morgan. Oh, and short. And the route the the route's pretty on. Pretty much on. I'm killing him now. Intercept. Oh, I should have picked it off. Come on, Jackson. Man, I wish I would make it NCAA 15. It's so stupid how they're not making it. Oh, Leonard Williams. Probably going to be a top 10 pick next year. Not probably will be a top 10 pick next year when he leaves. Stop right again. Oh, no. Terrible. Gets hurt this play. On this, this little easy comeback route, he gets hurt. Ugh. You'll see right now for how long he was hurt. Or he's hurt. Beautiful. Go outside. I cut a little too early right here. I probably should have waited a little bit more. Or maybe try to beat him outside. I wasn't sure. But 
But as you can see, he has he dislocated over six weeks. I believe it's week nine. So I think he's out until my bowl game. So it's not cool. That's just my starting receiver right there. The play I ran last week. Took option. And he's kind of slow, so that's this is as slow as Juke ever, and he just got blasted. Ooh, look at this touchdown. Watch this touchdown. Boom, truck stick. Truck stick, son. Look at this. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Two defenders there, and he just catches in between them. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's my corners or they're just lucky. I don't know, but that was not cool. I think it's interception right here. His ninth of the year, I believe. Yeah. Ninth interception of the year. Yeah, ninth. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Nine picks for a corner in a year. That's pretty good. Let's see. I have roll out, I believe. Yeah, roll out and just run it in for a touchdown. Easy. And that's pretty much it for this game. Yeah, so um, sorry I'm a little, I sound a little tired. I am a little tired, actually. I just had a game. Next time I'll know not to do it on Thursdays after a soccer game. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to check out Little Chef's channel. He's the... Uh, what's it called? A uh, general manager or the whatever of the dynasty. So if you're looking to join the dynasty, send him a message and he'll add you to the list. So uh, look at the stats. Look at negative 16 rushing yards again. I did that, but of course 320 passing yards. Ugh, I gotta fix my pass defense. But anyways, uh, so see you guys later. See you next week.